Okay, uh, let's get Blender installed with all the configs and scripts that we're going to use in the next videos. So please don't skip this step. It's uh, kind of required for anything else to work. So first of all, let's look up Blender builds. And this download latest builds link is the one we want. And then we have a couple options for our operating system up here. So just pick your operating system and download that and save it somewhere. And then once that's done downloading, you can extract it anywhere you want. So I've got my file extracted to the desktop. And here it is, Blender 2.79. So I'm going to open that up. And you should see something like this, unless you're on a Mac. If you're on a Mac, um, you might have to do a little bit more. So thanks to Tian for pointing this out, but you should have to right click on the Blender icon and say show package contents. So now that we're all together, let's go to uh, 2.79. Just click on that and then scripts and then startup. And you should see something that looks like this. So at this point, let's go back to our tutorial files and download the HP config. So that'll have all the goodies that we need in order to uh, get going. So let's, let me go and grab my folder. And I've just extracted that also to the desktop. And uh, so we've got all these things here. But before we go, I want to say thank you to Jeremy Mitchell, aka Float Void, for letting me use his Quip Pipe script. So this, is, uh, this one should improve our piping abilities. So let's grab all of this stuff here. We probably don't need this one. Copy and paste. So that's good. And now we're gonna just um, I'm gonna get this startup.blend and drag it out to my desktop temporarily. And then we can go back and back and back. So now we're at back at the main folder, and I'm gonna double click Blender just to check that it's working. It's good, this is our this is the default Blender setup, but we're gonna add in a custom setup here in just a second. So I'm gonna close this off. And let's go into back into 2.79. And we're gonna make a new folder here. So create a new folder, right click, create a new folder, or ho however you do it in your operating system. And we'll call it config, oops, lowercase config. And thanks to Matt for pointing out this trick. It's pretty cool because it lets us keep our configs all together in the same folder. So let's go right here and drag the startup.blend into there. And now we can go back, back. And let's try opening up Blender this time. Awesome. So this is what we're looking for. This is our custom setup that we'll be using in all our tutorials. Um, if you press control spacebar, you should see a menu like this, and then you can click to get out of it. And we are pretty much all set. But one little note about this installation, uh, or I guess a, a cool thing about this installation is that it's all contained within this one folder, right? And you can put this onto a USB drive and bring it to any other computer and start using Blender right away with, with your same setup. Um, you can also put this onto a Google Drive or a Dropbox or anything like that and have all your, your settings updated in the cloud. So this is definitely my preferred way to install Blender and um, we'll talk more about the, the custom setup in the following videos. Bye.